Hi everyone. This presentation will explore Iraqi food and culture and how it has influenced Australian cuisine. Iraq is located in the Middle East in southwestern Asia. It is bordered by Iran and Kuwait to the east, Turkey to the north, Syria and Jordan to the west, and Saudi Arabia to the south. From Sydney to the capital city of Baghdad is approximately 13,400 kilometres. During medieval times, the classical doctrine of the four elements was the pr predominant dietary theory in the region. It was believed that the world, including the human body, is composed of fire, air, water and earth, and these elements need to be kept in balance in order to maintain good health. Remnants of this practice can still be seen in the way Iraqis consume food today. For example, it is believed that people with short tempers should not eat a lot of eggplant, as they are hot. In addition, Iraqis eat a lot of dates and are usually consumed with cucumber or yoghurt to balance out their hot properties. Wheat, barley, rice and dates are the major staple foods of Iraq. Supplementary foods include eggplant, tomato, okra, potato, garlic, chilies, pulses and herbs and spices such as fenugreek, cumin, saffron and sumac. Samak maskuf is considered to be a national dish of Iraq. Fish are gutted and suspended around an open fire. Once the fire has died down and the fish are nearly cooked, they are placed on hot coals and sprinkled with flavourings such as lemon, onion, tomatoes and spices. Other popular dishes include kaba, dolma and marag. Kaba is a mix of meat, wheat, onions and spices, pounded into a paste and surrounded with a rice crust. Pine nuts and raisins are often added for special occasions. Dolma are grape leaves stuffed with rice, onions, tomatoes and spices. And marag is a type of meat and vegetable stew. Makluba is a celebratory meal served to family and guests on special occasions. Its name translates literally to upside down. It is a mix of meat, rice, a variety of fried vegetables and spices cooked in a pot and flipped upside down when served. Rituals of offering and accepting food is considered a very important aspect of Iraq culture. To neglect to serve food and drink to guests, whether they are expected or not, is considered extremely impolite. To refuse food or drink once offered is also considered just as rude, and the more you eat, the more respectful you are. The predominant religion in the country is Muslim, and therefore Ramadan is celebrated by many. It is in the ninth month of the Islamic calendar, and during this period, no food or water is to be consumed from sunrise to sunset, as fasting is part of worship. The pre-dawn meal, known as Suhora, must be finished by dawn. The evening meal, known as Iftar, is prepared in the hour leading up to sunset prayer. The meal is traditionally kicked off by eating a date and drinking a glass of water, followed by a combination of appetizers and salads, known as meze, some soup and flatbread, and a main dish, which can vary. Iraqi cuisine has been heavily influenced by its neighbouring countries. For example, popular dishes such as dolma and maklaba originated in Turkey and Jordan respectively. Also, Levantine foods from Syria and Lebanon such as hummus and tabbouleh have become popular additions to many meals in Iraq. The main agricultural outputs in Iraq are wheat and vegetables. The main imports are wheat and barley, while the main exports are dates. Apparent consumption of wheat in Iraq peaked during the late 1980s before declining rapidly in the early 90s following the outbreak of the Gulf War. Consumption gradually increased again in the following two decades. In contrast, consumption in Australia has slowly decreased over time and Iraqis generally consume significantly more wheat today than Australians. The first Iraqis living in Australia were recorded in 1976 when the Iraqi-born population was just over 2,000. This increased over the next two decades as many people escaped the Iraq and Iran War in 1988 and the Persian Gulf War in 1991. By 2001, the census recorded just over 48,000 Iraqi-born people living in Australia. This was an increase of 48.1% since the previous census in 2006. And according to the census, 80% of these people arrived following the Gulf War. Australia has been exposed to Iraqi cuisine in many ways, including social media, blogs and cookbooks. For example, a search for Iraqi food in Instagram yields over 18,000 results. 
There are many Facebook pages with Iraqi recipes. There's a popular blog called In My Iraqi Kitchen and a popular cookbook by the name of Arabesque. There are 10 Middle Eastern restaurants in Epping where Amira and her family live. There is a restaurant specialising specifically in Iraqi cuisine, approximately 10 kilometres from Epping. There are also nine Middle Eastern specialty stores in Victoria, including grocery stores, cafes, markets and bakeries. One of these stores offers online shopping.